What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We're talking about Scream, Scream 7 actually in this video here today. All right, Scream 6 and Scream 7. <laughs> Heather Matarazzo, who we know stars in the series as the sister of Randy Meeks, Martha, who we first met in Scream 3, saw her again in Scream 5. We learned that she has children, Chad and Mindy Meeks Martin, who we know are going to be reprising or appearing once again in Scream 6. And... I'm assuming one or maybe both of them will make it to Scream 7. Uh, so she had an interview recently where she's kind of already once again confirmed that she will not be appearing in 6. But she then seemingly also seems to have made it clear that there has at least been discussions with her that she wasn't going to appear in 6. But they might have something in store for her if 7 comes to fruition. So she's again... This is just assumptions people are making, me included, off of the way she was wording it and how like confident she was in what she was stating. That Scream 7 is something that's in the in the books. It's something that's planned. This is a trilogy that they have mapped out, and Martha could appear in Scream 7. So I want to go over that, what she said, and what might happen in 6 that could lead to her inevitable return for 7. So when asked about if she would be in Scream 6, then this new interview, and I'll leave a link to it in the description because she went over some other things like Nev Campbell and stuff. She said, I'm not in the next one because that is going to be a completely new iteration. We'll see if I come back for the final installment after that. Now, that's an interesting choice of words. And then she said yes a lot. She used the word yes a lot after it was stated that she should be somewhere in here because her kids are in it. And she closed out by saying, I think I'll be back for seven. So the fact that she says she thinks she'll be back for seven referred to this as the final installment to me and to a lot of others is a sign that she was told, hey, we're not going to bring you back for Scream 6, but we'll bring you back for the final installment if it ends up being a success with Scream 6. So going off of that and hearing what she's had to say, it's like they must have had a conversation with you. They must they must have talked to you about it about what they want to do for scream seven if they're allowed to and how they want you to factor into it and how this might have something to do maybe with the outcome or potential outcomes for chad and mindy going into scream six heather Monterazzo, we know she again is randy meek's sister she has her two children who are going to be getting reprised by the same actors uh, mason gooding and jasmine brown in scream six I don't know necessarily what they will have going on in the movie other than, of course, just being at university with Tara and then, of course, potentially biting the dust and being one of the Ghostface deaths in the upcoming six movie when it releases on March 31st of next year. Now, this next bit is not necessarily confirmed. Don't really have concrete evidence that it's 100 percent from the set of Scream 6, but someone shared this image and they claimed that it is from the set of Scream 6. Now, of course, going off of what you see here on your screen, it looks like a bloodbath occurred in this sequence. So someone who, again, is saying they saying this is from Scream 6 shared this over on Facebook. The post now has actually been deleted. The person who shared it has actually been deactivated. So to me and to other people who came across it, that's a sign that, you know, this might have been legit because now this person is gone because they don't want to jeopardize what other future future projects they could work on but anyway what if chad or mindy are the ones that bite the dust in this sequence and that's why she will be back in scream 7 you know she will be back to avenge the death of her child whether that be her son daughter maybe both of them and i've already talked about what i think scream 7 should even focus on it should really focus on exploitation and how the characters within this universe, some of them anyway, primarily I would say Gail Weathers being in the top five, top three, have exploited this, these tragedies that continue to happen. They make profits off it. And although like Gail in and of herself, I don't believe Gail is a bad person. Someone out there who's doing bad things now, of course, in their own right, they think that Gail is a problem. They think they might think Martha is a problem and they might have thought that Martha's children were a problem. If they somehow, you know, do 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 something where the events of Scream 6 tie into whatever goes down in Scream 7. But I'm thinking that if Martha returns for Scream 7, even if this photo is not from Scream 6, that's probably telling of what might occur to one or or both of her children now of course if it's both of her children that would then just make her return a little bit more 
like impactful, a little bit more meaningful in a lot of ways. And I think that actually also would give her a lot of room to be to, for an argument to develop of give her more screen time because for for the fact that she's been in this franchise for two movies now each appearance she's had what has been like what less than 10 minutes for both movies i might be mistaken but i don't think i am uh i would love to see the character of martha meeks around for a longer period of time learn some more about her psyche what her headspace is what was she like after randy died how did she deal with that and now of course not only losing your brother now you've lost your own children who were probably the closest things that reminded you of your brother outside of of course your own parents maybe so I would love to see her back in a more bigger, larger supporting role with Nev Campbell back as Sydney Prescott uh, with some other returning characters from Scream 6 if they make it out alive and just getting to hear and learn more about the character of Martha Meeks. Uh, that photo that again might be from Scream 6 if it is, it looks like again that was at a frat party or something. So I'm assuming if I had to apply it to one of the Meeks, maybe it was Mindy. Maybe Mindy died at this frat party. Now, honestly, maybe Chad fits the mold better, but and I, I think we can even talk about Chad really quick. There was that photo that came out. I know a lot of you remember this, that photo that came out of Chad on the stretcher and people thought that that was him filming a, that was Mason filming a death scene for Chad. What if that was something taken at the same location where this bloody image is from? Chad might've either died in that sequence and then that sequence we saw leaked is the sequence where he survived said bathroom sequence where ghostface attacks him so we'll see what ends up happening and if this has anything to do with scream six anyway because again this photo might not be legit but i just thought it was very interesting that heather Monterazzo referred to scream seven so confidently and she also kind of hinted to the fact that it seems like they're aiming for this to be their final installment because i don't believe that this is a success just like any other ip or any other popular series if this is a success this won't be the last scream movie scream 7 might just be the last one you see for a while but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications you can never miss a video in the description i'll have links to all my social media accounts on my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video